everyone, I'm Chad Stewart. I'm a software engineer from Kingston, Jamaica. And today, in this video, today, <laughs> I want to talk about this idea of the different kind of um, titles of software engineer throughout um, the tech industry uh, as compared to a Kent Beck's 3x model um, so this is a very weird video for me mainly because I kind of had varying iterations of how I kind of wanted to think about this idea um, initially it was like how the industry viewed you um, as a junior engineer and then more it was like how you should kind of view yourself like the things that you should do as a th uh, as a as a software engineer and the more i kind of thought about it uh i had read some time ago um Ken, uh, kent beck's uh 3x model and i was really fascinated with the idea and so but i hadn't really thought about it too much as i kind of continued you know through my career and then you know as i was thinking about kind of how to talk about this and how to answer this question it kind of came back to me and i was just like oh you know this is probably a really good way of of thinking about this um but it's still like it's still very kind of fluid in my mind so i would say this is more of an open discussion rather than you know the concrete this is how you do this um, but yeah, I, I kind of wanted to explore this. So let me talk a little bit about um, Kent Beck's 3x model. So it's called the 3x model because the idea is is that there are three stages. Um, he he uses the term software development, or uses the term. He he puts it in the frame of software development, but he he in the video that I watched which I'll link in the description below so that you can kind of explore the topic more yourself um, he he makes comparisons to all manner of things um, that he says kind of is explained through through this model and he also says he didn't come up with the, the, the not necessarily like the way you think about it I guess might be his but um, just like the, the 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 curve itself it's a s-shaped curve um and I'll, I'll show you it in a second um the s-shaped curve is not his you know it's just kind of like how he views it and for the most part he he this was in the realm of software development and i was like this is probably a really good way of kind of describing a career right um so or, or or a software engineer's journey through through their career um so i'm going to bring up the i'm going to bring up the um the image here and so the idea this isn't exactly his is actually significantly more simple i i felt like this kind of works out because there's a lot more context in the image um so for people who are watching this you know like it's a little bit it's a little bit easier um, and I'm probably not gonna explain all of this well but I just kind of wanted to go through this so the way I was thinking about uh, a software engineers um, journey um, in through their career is I feel like it also fits along this curve right um, and what I'm specifically going to talk about is maybe like the types of ideas, the types of things that you should do, be doing in each part of your in your journey and where on the curve, y you know, you are on this journey and then just kind of like. Again, this is more of a this is more of an explore exploratory thing. I, I you know, I, I'm still this is still very fairly new to or the ideas are fairly new to me but so but 
generally when people talk about software engineers they talk about them in three phrases in in three in three ways you have the junior software engineer you have the mid-level software engineer and then you have the senior software engineer and seen like there's obviously forms of senior like in 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 more tech focused um companies you have like senior then staff then principal and distinguished and stuff like that for the purposes of this discussion and i think it's fairly relevant uh, or fairly relevant for the purposes of discussion we'll just only use junior mid and and senior um but yeah so like that's kind of like generally when you're having conversations about software engineering careers you ha those are the three phrases that you think about right and so i kind of wanted to use this curve to explain some of the things that would gain you the most value um while you're exploring well g yeah gain you the most value depending on your um depending on your what you call it depending on your the, the, your your title or what you see yourself as as your title right um more than likely i'll end up speaking about juniors a lot um because i feel like they they they're the ones that likely need the most help um and they're probably the easiest to speak about but uh i'd like to explore all three phases and anyhow so um let me let me explain a little bit about the explore expand extract because i haven't been talking too much about that so explore is pretty much what it sounds like you know you you you're effectively looking for something of value you you don't know what it looks like you you you, you don't have any any clue what what exactly is valuable you know like you don't know what is valuable you don't know why it's valuable so you do little experiments right so the the idea here is to to to, to kind of feel around for for interesting for 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 stuff right um expand is you found something of value and you essentially are growing and you're and this is probably this is pretty hard and i, I in the video funny enough in the video that <laughs> that i was watching to kind of remind myself of this uh kent bet found it hard to to kind of describe it as well he described it in the way of oh you're expanding you know and there are multiple pitfalls and effectively what you're trying to do is avoid those pitfalls um in terms of career i don't know if that's necessarily the right analogy um because like i don't necessarily see there being particular pitfalls that that only can occur in the expand phase of of someone's career you know but like it's still it is still kind of like an exponential growth you as an engineer you kind of like hit something that that is extremely valuable and then all of a sudden you know you go from you go from not getting too many callbacks or not getting too many speaking events to all of a sudden everybody wants to talk to you you know like I, there's example i there's even recent examples of 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 that you know where all of a sudden you know a person went from not knowing anybody within like six months there they're constantly at events you know be they're being invited to talk and all manner of things right um so and then extract is like you've kind of grown you've kind of you've got to a point where you're you 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 have a lot of value and effectively one you're trying to maximize that um, or the, the value that you get um i think i'm talking about this right but you're trying to effectively protect the value that you have right so it's like you want to be more conservative you know in the things that you do so um in in terms of the three phases of software uh the, the, in the three phases of a software engineer's career the way generally people put it is you have 
you know, in junior, juniors tend to be in the explore phase. And it's for good reason. You know, they 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 don't know much. They probably will get gain the most value from from kind of poking around at things. And what I would say to juniors is to to just poke around, right? Um, don't be discrim don't be discriminatory about the things that you you mess around with, right? Um, you know, ask questions. You know, like or ask questions, but you know, like, is th does this technology seem even remotely interesting to you? St you know, spend some time playing around with it. You know, play around with it, talk about it. You know, ask questions about it. You know, find other people who who are messing around with it, and just keep doing that, right? And so, as a junior, I would say this is what you should be doing: just poking around technologies you know you you heard you heard docker all of a sudden right and you have no clue what docker is you know spend some time playing around with or spend some time figuring out what docker is then playing playing around with docker you know and maybe asking a few questions and then maybe if you're not too interested you know you move on right so because this is more of a personal thing and it's not necessarily like for business where effectively, you know, the thing that you're chasing is monetary value, like your success metrics will be different for everybody because some people, you know, your, their success metrics is I want to get a job, right? And so they, they, them, they will still be exploring, but effectively what they want to do is they want to explore and come up and come across a technology that they can leverage to, to get a job right um and maybe you there's something you just you just want a personal interest to kind of dig into you know like you play around and then all of a sudden you find that you found something really interesting and then you dig into that and it, so your success metrics are going to be different you know but the explore phase still stands just poke around you know like if you hear something new you know, ask questions about it. Ask questions about it I I immediately. You know, and if you lose interest for whatever reason because they go against your success metrics, then you move on and you just keep doing that, right? What will eventually happen is that you will come across something that you want to delve into for whatever reason. Again, uh, I'll elaborate that everybody's success metrics will be different. Um, some people will will like something because they just like it. Some people will will want to stick with something because it can make them potentially a lot of money. You know, some people will will want to stick with something for the community. Like everybody's success metrics will be different, but eventually you will hit something and you kind of um, you will start growing in that thing right like oh you, you start finding success in that thing so this is where i'm having the most trouble with applying like the three phases so some people have kind of kind of have equated um, mid-level engineers to advanced juniors right um, some people have been very explicit about like uh, mid-level engineers skill set which is you can give them features and they will develop the features no problem without, without with very minimal assistance right so it's hard for me to define like how a mid-level engineer kind of exists here but what i would say is you've you've effectively hopefully uh you've as when you're a mid-level you know, and I would even go as far as to say that you are, you would be a mid-level defined by you found something and you're expanding on it. You know, like say for instance, um, you are, you, you learned about React, right? And you are a React engineer, you know, and now you're really diving deep into React, you know. By the way, um, I'm using skills specifically to define this, but skills don't solely define this this is not it's not like oh you have to explore a technology it could be exploring a space you know like test automation or it could literally be exploring content creation you know like 
you know, making YouTube videos or doing Twitch or, you know, spaces or just dev advocacy and stuff like that. The, the idea is that, like, we, we have this lens that we kind of view people as, you know, as software engineers, junior, mid and senior. Um, and like, these are the kind of things that you, you want to be thinking about to kind of maximize your growth, I guess. I should have started with that to maximize your growth um, when you're in these different phases. So um, as a mid-level engineer, you kind of want to 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 kind of ex you want to work on the thing that you that you ha you, that has been showing you success. You know what I mean? You want to kind of double down on that and keep working on it. You know what I mean? Um, so, like I said, it could be, you know, you're, you're, you're a React engineer. React has been showing you a lot of success. You've been getting a lot of jobs because of React. So, you kind of double down on that. You know, maybe it's a project that you're working on. So, you double down on, on working on the project. You know, you, you make it more valuable. You know, you reach out to people. You say, hey, you know, what do you think would make this more interesting? Or you, you look at metrics, you know stuff like that right and then what i would view as a senior engineer is a person who's kind of gone through these phases they have they have had some level of growth like um uh, let me show you in the it, like if you notice in the expand in the expand phase there's a massive amount of growth in a small amount of time what I would say is a senior engineer kind of starts here at the beginning of the extract phase. They are known for a, pat a particular thing. Either it's the, you know, uh, continuing with the, fr with the, the, the um, examples, they're known for a particular technology or they're known for a particular project or they're known for types of things, you know, like or for content creation, they're known for, 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 for dev advocacy, they're known for something, right? And here you kind of, you, um, you're trying to kind of protect that value, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, you're trying, you're, you're, you're trying to protect that value, you're trying to maximize that value, and yeah that, that like it's kind of hard because i'm personally not a, a a senior engineer you know or i haven't i i don't think i've kind of been in the, those situations often so i i don't have experience to to leverage or just being like oh i kind of understand the situation i understand the, the 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 situation but like this is kind of like how i view senior engineers they they they're at the top of their game you know and they just kind of stay in, i don't want to say stay in that lane they kind of put a wall around the value they've created right and they just kind of continue to they, they, they they've optimized on that value creation you know either by i can create react projects like that or uh, I I have really significantly increased the value of my of my project that I've been working on, you know, and all manner of things, right? So that is what I would say is kind of like the 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 curve. It's I'm really sorry if this if this explanation isn't the best. Like I said, I'm still kind of wrapping my mind around this. Um, around this idea you know i'll probably end up doing another video when i kind of understand this a little bit better but i would say for because by the time you get to extract you have so much information that kind of got you to the extract phase of 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 this journey that you and notice the curve is a little bit flatter um so there's still growth here there's still growth happening but it's not that much growth and like for you to for you to kind of go back to this exponential growth again you kind of would have to pick another topic 
and to to explore and then expand and then uh, extract right you know and then just keep kind of doing that um uh at the time when when i at the at the time of the recording i think kent Be kent beck was at um facebook and so he he made the comparison to fix facebook's growth in the way like initially facebook was a a, a social network for for colleges and then the i then the the then the let's explore something new was being a social network for everybody and then um something i particularly didn't know was instead of being a social network for everybody let's be a social network for every let's be a mobile first social network right and then through these ideas you 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 went through the same process explore expand extract but the curves got bigger right or the potential for for growth got bigger and so effectively if you visualize the curves the curves themselves got bigger right and you can do the same thing here so say for instance you have one project right and you go through this entire explore expand extract phase you know like maybe thinking about and I, the facebook example is actually a really good example to kind of go through this maybe you go you know how do we take this project from from focusing on this use case to a bigger use case i'm going to try my best not to kind of step to, to to move away from um to move away from what you call it uh from career growth but um in fact to keep it in that realm is like okay i've conquered let's say react right i like the amount of value that i can extract from react as a tool that i know and i'm known for is great is is good but what if i start exploring back-end engineering you know what if i start ex or what if i start exploring Vue? you know what if i start exploring back-end engineering you know what if i start exploring um ui ux specifically you know like as opposed to the actual engineering the making the thing work the the ui ux exploring the user experience you know and then you would go through the same curve again I would say you're still a senior because effectively you can still extract from your experience on your initial curve, you know, but you would be a junior as a UI UX person, right? But you're still fairly valuable. You, you st All right, let me not get too far <laughs> into this because I don't want to, this is very abstract, so I don't want to, to, to make it extremely confusing. But I guess to recap, the idea is as a junior, you want to be you want to be exploring you want to figure out what your niche is and your niche doesn't necessarily have to be a technology or a skill your niche could be every anything but you especially you want to pick something that you want to just kind of feel around until you come across something that that either that satisfies your your success criteria and I, i'm making it a point to say success criteria as opposed to oh gains you money or so on and so forth because again everybody's success criteria is going to be is going to be different and as you're going through as you're going through this curve um as you're going th or as you're going through this journey like say say for instance you decide to do something else the success criteria is going to be diff could be different from that um from that um journey as well but as a as a as a junior you know you're looking around for something that fits what you want to do for whatever reason you want to do it you find that thing and then you expand on it you know like and i'm using this, the, the the words very specifically you expand on it you you invest time into growing in this thing right and then you you've gotten to a point where you have so much knowledge of this thing that you're kind of seen as an expert and you know you just kind of you 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 wall it off you pr you protect that excuse me you protect that value you know um and
and like i said i would say that explore is your kind of junior in fact i would even go as i i'd I'd mentioned i'd mentioned this i'd um not mentioned but i kind of alluded to it earlier is that you know you you'd be junior in this kind of idea right so it's like you know you're junior in in this topic then you're more mid-level in this topic you know you're growing you're 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 trying to get better at this topic and then you know at the extract phase once you have all of these things and you 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 have the value kind of defined and you're really good at 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 leveraging that value you know you're a senior in 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 this for in this um what you call it in 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 this topic right and then you know you can make better bets and so, all right let me again let me not try to, to to go too far because this is definitely a rabbit hole that you can go down um but yeah like i guess in in, in summation juniors explore you know try to find something that meets your success criteria you know once you found that thing really delve into it you know explore it as uh, explore it uh ex- try to expand it as much as you can you know try to grow in the thing you know try to make it valuable to you again based on your success criteria and then you know like once you you are able to to kind of really pull the value out of all of that then i would consider you a senior in that topic you know um so that's pretty much it so this is a very abstract topic um i feel like it's really difficult i might end up making a video that is more concrete as i kind of explore this but speaking of exploration (laughs) uh, speaking of exploring the topic um what do you what do you guys think you know like how do you feel about kind of this idea of of viewing the software engineer career you know through this this lens of um kent beck's uh 3x model you know do you like the idea of just kind of as a junior you're exploring as a mid-level you're expanding your skill set and then you have you are extracting or have extracted the value out of this and you would be considered a senior is that is that something that you think is a is a good idea by the way i didn't even talk about success or, or payoff and to be honest I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure i'm not particularly great at it but like what do you think about viewing the software engineer career growth through this model like how do you how do you feel about it do you think this is a really good way of of kind of ex ex um explaining how people kind of should go through the software engineering career you know <coughs> uh do you have any not concerns but do you have any ideas about about this topic please feel free <coughs> excuse me feel, please feel free to 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 comment down below you know please feel free to reach out to me on twitter this is something i'm really really interested in like i will definitely say i'm fairly young in this kind of idea of kind of viewing my own career uh, i will say i feel more like i'm in the expand part of my career like i've kind of found some some niches i mean even youtube right even this video <coughs> is potentially a niche right um that i'm kind of working on you know but uh do you think this is a good idea do you do you do you like this idea do you think this idea is is kind of easy to explore do you have like your own kind of vision um for for viewing the career either through through this model or through you know some something else like please let me know in the the comments down below you know let me know on twitter and thank you very much for um Thank you very much for for watching this video and wow that's a lot brighter than i wanted to be yeah thank you very much 
for for watching this video and i will see you next time